Whew. Oh, man. Getting in some hiking after that long conference at VRMA in Orlando. We went full tilt, no doubt. And um, so anytime I've, and I've been on the road like three weeks at a client's place, helping them get onboarded and launched and Disney World with the fam a little bit, conference, a thousand sales pitches, a hundred vodka sodas later, I got to come up to the mountains and take a break. <laughs> this is like my fortress of solitude up here. So a couple of things I thought I would just share, just doing some photography up here too. This is a great part. I'm on the Appalachian Trail. This is Roan Mountain. And this part of the Appalachian Trail straddles the North Carolina and South Carolina, excuse me, the North Carolina and Tennessee border. And uh, it's just a phenomenal part of the trail. And this, this is actually probably about as most tip of Northeast Tennessee as you can get. A lot of people think of Northeast Tennessee or just East Tennessee. And obviously the Smokies and Gatlinburg and all that comes to mind. But there's a whole other mountain market up here in what we call Northeast Tennessee. It's really phenomenal. Uh, and quite actually a, really untouched in a lot of ways from the vacation rental industry. I mean, like how Gatlinburg is, you know, very, very fun, but also very, you know, commercialized. Um, it's pretty raw up here and it's awesome. So anyway, um, one of the things I do too, that I always want to share, try to get people behind picking up some trash on the trail. I've got a, another thing called just one piece. The con the concept there, I try to pick up at least one piece of trash a day. Often I pick up way more and it's a mindful exercise. I started doing a long time ago. Um, you know, certainly, uh, in life and absolutely these days there's a lot of strife in the world and if you're a conscientious person and you want to you know you just have empathy for people it can be quite draining especially uh what's going on right now that's so tough and um it's hard to feel like you can make a dent at all in that mess i came up with this concept years ago of you know i i can't i'm, I'm a big i hate litter um, I'm big into conservancy and things like that and do a lot of projects for like beach sweeps and trail cleanups and things like that. Also clean up waterways and, and do park cleanup days and stuff like that. And, you know, it's hard to clean up the entire world, but at the very least I can pick up at least one piece of trash today and make at least one microscopic piece of positive action. Um, and, Imagine if we could get millions of people to do that too. So it also, you know, you bend over a little bit, you get stretched. <laughs> you know, it's just a good thing to do. So another thing that got me to do this video is I wanted to say thank you to somebody. Um, you know, I've been on the road like three weeks and I get home and in the mail waiting for me is this little card. So like, okay, what is this? Well, it's a thank you card. Um, really lovely. Handwritten. A handwritten thank you card um, and it's just this is Andrew and Megan um, they've got a couple different brands Pond Life or Cash Street Technologies they also do this couples wealth retreat you should check it out Google couples wealth retreat or like go to coupleswealthretreat.com or pondlife.com they're, they're uh, vacation rental property owners and hosts and managers and uh, they got some lovely properties up in New Hampshire and uh I'm actually will be seeing them again soon at another conference uh, coming up in Vermont. And um, they had this couple's wealth retreat thing, right? So basically it's like a four day thing. They get five or six couples together. They rent a dope house or cabin somewhere and they do it at different places. Really great concept. And, you know, they just talk about, they do yoga every morning, healthy eating, go out hiking and do local stuff. They, they, they uh, but then they talk about, you know, your business and how to grow wealth and also, you know, practical things of, you know, what's your survivorship look like legally? Have you got, have you touched on those things? What's your insurance look like? Where are your liabilities at? What, what's motivating you? What's working for you and share and network. It's just awesome. And for just $200, they had the coffee sponsorship available and I had met them at another conference and I was like, you know what? I didn't even think about it. I just said, sure. Uh, we'll sponsor that with Guesty. Um, I just paid for it out of my own pocket or whatever for the coffee sponsorship. And then they're so awesome. They rented this huge, like 10 bedroom, really, excuse me, 
cool cabin in Gatlinburg and they had a couple of, they had like two extra rooms and I went by to do the coffee thing with them, hung out. I talked a little bit about some advocacy things and also what I see working for people out there in the field these days, post COVID, stuff like that. And they invited me, you know, like we went to dinner and they're like, why don't you just stay tonight? We're going to do a campfire thing, whatever. we got an extra room. And these are like nice. Every room's like ensuite bathroom, like really a dope cabin for a big event. And I spent the night. We got to know. I mean, it was just great. Did yoga with them the next morning. It was just totally awesome. Great people. And just a handwritten thank you card. Let me tell you what. I will always like and share the content that they post. I will always, when humanly possible, go to their events. I will always welcome them to anything cool that I'm doing. And I will, all, if I'm ever going to that part of the country or anywhere where they've got a property, I will absolutely stay at their property. And I just wanted to share that like that. This is so sadly rare these days in our click funnel CRM world of whatever, you know, and big associations and events and scanning badges and all these things. This is real. I made some real connections hanging out with these people. And don't get me wrong, VRMA was great. I thought it was way better this year, by the way. Let's shift gears there a little bit. I thought it was way better than Vegas last year. Please don't do Vegas again. We can go to Vegas on our own. <laughs> you know, Vegas is not a great place to conduct business like that. Um, and somebody at VRMA, I will say, thankfully got the message after the years to upgrade the food a little bit. I will say the food was really good this year. Um, breakfast and everything. Breakfast with actual protein. It was fascinating. Um, anyway, I'm not ripping on it too bad. I think, I think it was great. I think Verma this year was a success. I'll finish this quick little video if you watch this far. Thank you. Um, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be growing this kind of content and stuff like that. And by the way, if you need any help with software or something like that, I am wearing a guest t-shirt today. It was funny too. Um, hiking or whatnot at one of the break spots just catching breath somebody says guesty i use guesty blah 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 they're like a small host level person with about three properties in california it's just awesome to see that um and keep in mind we do people up to five thousand properties too so guesty's a, a great thing but i'm not here to really talk about that i'm going to talk about my takeaway from the army this has been my takeaway in general from this whole year from being in lots of conferences talking to a lot of operators and hosts and homeowners and business owners and you name it and other travel related industry people. The takeaway that, that you need to like live and breathe is if you're representing quality products, be that a house or a, you know, a campground or a software or a service or whatever, if it's quality, you got really no problems. Just apply that and, and get to work. If you're in the commodity business, you better watch out. You think this year was bad? Next year's going to be way worse, in my opinion. And that's what the things are trending to. You know, and what's what's the commodity business in the vacation rental space? You know, that's a two-bedroom condo in Myrtle Beach or PCB or Gatlinburg that hasn't been updated in 10 years and looks like a lost episode of the golden girls or something that's a commodity product you're at the bottom of the barrel you're competing against the ruthless hotel industry that's come out with very nice products in the last uh, couple of years and they're they're you're just not going to win that price battle you will be at 50 percent occupancy of what you were used to um got to be unique got to represent quality there's just you know and you'll be fine another takeaway is uh you know, you'll hear it over and over again, but listen, advocacy stuff is real. I mean, I, you, I can't believe some of the people that I still were talking to that were like, well, no, we're not too worried about it in our market. Um, you know, I'm not trying to make fun of them. I'm just trying to shake them and wake them up. Like, no, you're exactly the people that they're coming after. So like, wake up. It is happening everywhere and no one's immune to it. Get activated and get engaged. I would say the third thing too, to probably that was my biggest takeaway was, man, there is a lot of changeover happening in the tech and the vendor space too. And I don't know, I just, I've seen some amazing things, some great ideas rising to the top. And I just see some things that's just like, I didn't think there was room in the market for yet another one of these things. And I, that's about multiple categories. So I won't even niche down into what their product or service tries to do. But my takeaway is, you know, um, things are gonna 
get as just like there's more inventory in the market and less travel demand, there's more products and services than ever, which is a good thing because if the, you know, the cream will rise to the top. I would just say that it's fascinating watching it all go down and the amount of money, the amount of venture capital still coming into our industry is breathtaking and encouraging. And I would just say people that are growing teams with talented people with great ideas and zealotrous passion are gonna have an amazing 2024. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, if you watched the video this far, thank you. I'm gonna do a little spin around here just to show you guys this spot. It is spectacular. The other side of that hill is pretty good too, but just this view here, it's just unreal. Again, this is the Rhone Mountain um, right outside, based not too far from Asheville actually, about a, maybe an hour drive or so, something like that if you're ever in the area. Later.